Hey there guys, today it's time to see world class players who are never used in FIFA and to be honest, it really is a big flaw about FIFA. I get that, you know, there should be more overpowered players, but at the same time there should also be more world class players in real life who are more usable in Ultimate Team. We've got a big squad of players guys who for me are brilliant players in real life, even just good players. And for some weird reason, they're just never seen in Ultimate Team. No one seems to use them. People seem to prefer the likes of Bakayoko. They seem to prefer, and I think to be honest, it's because of pace, it's because of the physicality in Ultimate Team, it's much more preferred. And other amazing traits like passing, like even just dribbling, are overlooked a lot of the time, and it's not right for me. Anyway, first up, we're going to go with Isco. This guy is just a baller for Real Madrid, such a brilliant player. I think he's one of the best attacking midfielders in football, and whether it be in the Champions League, in La Liga, He's so brilliant at linking up with other players like Ronaldo, like Benzema. The guy is fantastic. You just, I don't think anyone can deny that yet. And FIFA, guys, 82 passing. That card just doesn't look very good. Dribbling, yes, is good. Shooting should be improved. Pace should be improved. It's just not ever used in FIFA, man. Really is an unusable card when you've got the likes of maybe Kante, you know, Pogba, players like that who can get forward better. And it, But there, there should be more specific stats or there should be more done to make these players better it's not right that like a great player like isco is never seen in ultimate team anyway next we're going to go with sammy kadira again brilliant player yeah his card because his pace most likely again another, another very um just unpopular card you never you never see this like card unless you're in division 10 maybe never used very 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 dominant german midfielder for juve and yeah just not used in fifa Moving on, Diego Costa, uh, just a physical striker, could easily get 20 goals a season in Premier League, yet yeah, even over the past few years, guys, with FIFA cards, no one uses Diego Costa. They'd rather go for maybe someone like Lacazette right now, or in the past at least, maybe Loic Remy, thinking back like to a few years, Jamie Vardy, another example, you know, though that pace is rewarded so much, they need to do more with shooting, for example. Anyway, after Costa, going to go to Casemiro. For me, you could use his card, but a lot of people said to me, like, Matt, no one ever uses Casemiro, and I do agree, never see his card used. The only time you'll see his card used is when he does get a blue team in the season card. After Casemiro, Lewandowski may be a bit of a surprise, but I think you may agree, guys. Lewandowski has a 91 rated card, yet no 90 rated stats on his base card. 88 shot, 81 pace. This guy could arguably be the best striker in the world, and you never come up against him in Ultimate Team. There are other better options for Ultimate Team. It's bizarre. His stats, what is his stat? His, his finishing should be improved. His attacking position could even be improved. Shot power should be improved. Long shot should be... I mean, the, the guy deserves better everything. Composure 87 is a, just... That is shocking. That should be definitely improved as well. And that's what I'm saying. These stats need to have more impact. Pace and, you know, physical physicality and other stats like that. They need to have more, like, I guess warrant in FIFA more important like Lewandowski should feel fantastic yet yeah, in FIFA just really doesn't Cavani very similar to similar to Lewandowski how's this guy got 83 shot man that is just not right at all a big re his his card sucks that card is so bad I'm sorry but it really is 83 finishing on a guy who gets at least 20 goals a season is just shocking 83 composure what have he done to that card high high work rates I guess is good but yeah again they need to put more importance to some of these stats. Gerard Piquet, again, a bit like Cavani, very, very good player. Proven to be, at his peak, maybe a world-class player. Some would say, probably. And yet, yeah, there are better options. Someone like Koulibaly you'd go for even over him. Koscielny, you'd say, in Ultimate Team, is a better player than Piquet because of the stats. Next up, Edin Dzeko. This guy is such a great striker. And some people really underrate... Um, underrated Deco. I saw him play against uh, Chelsea in the Champions League, cheering for Roma back in the, well, well a year ago. And, um, yeah, Deco scored a wonder goal. I've always thought he's great, and he proved it there. What a play he is. And, again, in Autumn Team, he literally sucks. Like, no one is using this Deco card. David Silva does have an inform card there. 92 passing. 91 dribbling they are good stats but when you consider he's a right mid yeah you'd rather go for someone like his teammate Raheem Sterling because of pace it's actually insane 
David Silva has 92 passing, 91 dribbling, yet you'd still rather use a much cheaper option, a card that's like 5k compared to his in form. Forsberg, good play in the Bundesliga, very, very consistent play, always getting a lot of informs as well in the game. He just doesn't seem to do much in the Ottoman team as well. Next up, Mats Hummels, a great defender, one of the best defenders in football for me, in my, in my opinion. And 64 pace, 76 physical, has really just, just destroyed anyone's hopes to use, of using him in Ultimate Team. After Hummels, though, Bernardo Silva, a bit like uh, David Silva from City. He's actually got not a bad card, but again, such an unpopular FIFA card. It's actually ridiculous. I would love to see the stats on how many people buy this card every day, because I, I don't think I've ever come up against Bernardo Silva. Higuain, like Lewandowski, you'd never come up against him in FIFA Ultimate Team, his card isn't good enough, the stats need to be made better, and they need to be made more vital. This guy should have like 91 shot. The pace is the pace may be right, but again, I think with pace, I think it's a big thing that EA seemed to make it, the EA seemed to give sprint speed such huge importance, yet when you really think about it, think about some of the best plays, plays in football. Luis Suarez, who for me is probably the joint best striker on his day in football, maybe Lewandowski and some other strikers. The reason why he's so great, and a big reason why, is his movement. Yet in FIFA, it doesn't seem to exploit that. It just seems to be focused on sprint speed. And I think that's why. And I'm gonna, I'm actually going to DM EA after this and just, well, the guys work at EA, a lot of them, and just say, you know what, this could be an idea. Focus more on the aspects around pace, not just sprint speed. It's not about the 100 meter dash, it's about the you know, movement as well. And again, Higuain's got great movement for a, I guess, yeah, a, a, yeah six foot big striker. Um, yeah, again, more needs to be done with these stats. Harry Kane is probably the biggest example I can give you of a player who is, yeah, he's, he's proven now, world class. And his card sucks in Ultimate Team. 71 pace. His movement is amazing. His passing is brilliant. And EA have just killed his passing. This guy should have at least 82, maybe 83 passing. He's so great at passing. Don't focus on the assists. I know he's only got two this season. Focus on the build-up play. He is amazing at passing. And yeah, just no one uses Harry Kane's card. They'd rather go for someone like Aubameyang, someone like, yeah, Lacazette, Arsenal. Um, well, that Arsenal front line, maybe even like Sanchez if he's got, if he's got a striker card. But yeah, you know what I mean? It's just insane. People use the likes of Firmino more than um, Harry Kane. He is a big example. Meza Ozil, another big example, only got 8-7 passing, 7-1 pace, 8-6 dribbling for an 8-8 card, isn't very good. I think this arguably is the biggest example of a player who is absolutely fantastic in real life, yet has the worst FIFA rating I've ever seen for a card who's 86 rated. I cannot believe EA have given him these stats. Honestly, this guy is world class. I've said that a lot in this video, but he really is. He's... When you, if you want to build like a, a midfield, this guy should be in there. I, for me, in my opinion, he's so important to Barca and their style of play. And just, he's brilliant. I th he's severely underrated as well. I think people generally don't like him after all the diving and stuff in the pass against Inter Milan in the Champions League with, I believe, Diogo Motta. Obviously, he, you know, deserved the um, criticism from that. But in terms of a player, he's brilliant. Absolutely vital as hell to Barca. People now appreciate how great this guy is. He's fantastic. And in FIFA, though, he's got 40 pace, 79 passing for a midfielder at Barca. Arguably, obviously, Messi's their best player and maybe best ever. But in terms of other important players, he's up there with, like, so obviously, Iniesta. This guy is just fantastic. And he's only got 79 passing and he's at Barca. That is crazy. I mean, look at the stats. Except stamina and a few others. They're just not very good. And in FIFA, man, just doesn't get used at all in FIFA. Tony Cruz, I'm going to probably say him and Busquets are the two big players here who I think you're going to completely agree with, are just unusable in FIFA. And I think Pez does it very well on Perivo, guys. They do a very good job of making players like Cruz and Busquets usable. They'll get they'll do more around passing. They'll do more around, you know, player movement, their dribbling traits. They've got more specifics going on. I think that's what FIFA needs to have a look at. Because Cruz, man, you, I've, I don't think, like Bernardo Silva, I don't think I've come up against one Tony Cruz card, regular card, other than maybe in the first few divisions this year. You never come up against him, man. This guy should be one of the best midfielders in the game. And yes, he's got great passing, but because FIFA's FIFA, you can't really 
exploit that amazing passing. You should be able to do some insane passing that unlocks like potential goals in Ultimate Team. Yeah, you can't, man. And it's, yeah, I think this is an issue that needs addressing. Thomas Muller, very similar to the other players in this video, guys. Just again, his card, is, his card isn't bad, yet you never see his card used. And I think we all, we all agree. He's always had one of those cards. He could score the world, I think he has got, right, the most goals scored. Is it the World Cup, I think, I want to say? I want to say that's right. It's one of those, I think he broke um, Muller's, the other Muller's record from Germany in the past. And um, yeah, this guy could score like 10 goals in one World Cup and still his card would not be very popular. It's it's ridiculous. Icardi. This card is a travesty. I just got to say how it is. I got this card, I think, in my Road to Glory last year. And um, yeah, just ridiculously unusable card. He should have, for me, 88 shot, probably 86 rating by now. He scores for fun for Inter. Yeah, in FIFA, no one uses his card. Pace is obviously such a big thing. But again, his movement's brilliant. But you can't really do much in Ultimate Team with his, um, with his pace. And again, no one ever uses Icardi. Xavi Martinez, another very big choice here, guys, as, yeah, you just never seem to come up against a Martinez card. Very good defending stats there, but again, Pace has just killed his card. The thing is, when you think about some of the best ever Premier League defenders, not even the best ones, like, just some very good ones. Players like even, I don't know, who's a good example? Martin Larson was a beast at Aston Villa, and he wasn't very fast, but he could read the game so well. His heading was phenomenal, could score goals. Yet in FIFA, his card was never like that amazing because pace was so important. John Terry is a massive example of that. Jamie Carragher as well. Both very, obviously, Terry would probably be maybe one of the best ever Premier League defenders. The guy was absolutely fantastic. Yet in FIFA, because his pace was so low, not enough traits went into the fact that John Terry could read the game so well that's why he was probably the best defender maybe in Premier League history one of, one of maybe top three at least guys and in FIFA though because of pace no one seemed to use his card and that is a, it, it's a big issue Martinez though is that one then we go to Godin this you know if he had 70 pace I think it'd be okay but his physical isn't isn't as good as it should be this guy is just phenomenal really great defender and um yeah he just, I mean the guy's great He's only got 6-5 pace, though. His passing should be for me at least 70. And again, man, no one uses his card. Rakitic, similar to Cruz, brilliant for Barca. And because of pace, because of the fact that passing isn't, like, everything in Ultimate Team, passing should be made more important, in my opinion. No one is using this card. Verratti is the final player, though, in this big squad. And again, 87 rating, and he's only got one stat that's above 87 or anywhere near 87 is actually ridiculous. He should have definitely better shooting. Uh, passing should be probably 87. 65 pace, you know what? It could be right at the pace, but again, it's, you know, pace is not everything in football. It's, it's insane. And his stats, what are his stats actually? His stats are good for dribbling, at least. 94 balance is very good. Um, but again, you just never come up against his card, man. Really unpopular card in FIFA. And there is the final squad right there. Harry Kane, Higuain, Busquets, Tony Cruz, Meza Erza, Thomas Muller, Ivan Rakitic, Diego Godin. Um, we've got Javi Martinez, Mauro Riccardi. We have uh, Verratti right there. And then we do have Isco, Kadira, Diego Costa, Casemiro. I missed, I, I think, I, no, no, I, I did include him, didn't I? Talking about his blue team season card. Lewandowski, Cavani, Gerard Piquet, Eden Zeko, David Silva, Emil Forsberg, Mats Hummels, and Bernardo Silva. And there you go, guys. They offer me the, t t I guess, well, yeah, how many? 23? Yeah, 23 most unusable cards that are world-class players in real life. No idea what the title of this video is going to be because there's so many it could be. It's probably going to be like, I don't know, best world-class players who suck on FIFA, something like that. Anyway, let me know in the comments which other players maybe have I missed out on. Do you agree with these players? I guess Lewandowski is one of the few that you may not agree on, but I mean, look at that card, man. He should have at least 191 above stat. He really should. And yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Leave a like if you want to double upload today as well, and I'll see you guys later.